I, uh, I will reintroduce myself since I failed the first time on that. <laughs> and um, uh, this is a Lorenzo pipe. Um, most of my pipes are from my grandfather who passed away. Um, I, I got a few and they, they hold a lot of sentimental value because he always smoked a pipe. Uh, Lorenzo was a maker in Rome and the year on this says 1971 so this is fantastic and I'm smoking some drama reserve out of this. Um, so this one I kind of have for English is kind of heavier blends. This is my, uh, so I'll rest this for a second. Um, this is my Salvatella. Salvatella is another um, Italian maker, wonderful uh, S logo on the stem. Uh, this I reserve for flakes because it kind of has that nice tall nice fold. Narrow which has tall. Fold and yeah, very nice. Throw in. Uh, it does have the stinger. I was told that that makes your tobacco smoke uh, more dryly, so I'm thinking Acts of Acts as a condenser it. of some sort. Yeah, I think uh, somebody posted uh, something on one of our videos, and I, uh, I haven't gotten around to removing it, but I probably will. It's tough because it's, it has a lot of sentimental value, and my grandfather, maybe my grandfather would say, no, don't do that. <laughs> Um, here's an, uh, uh, sandblasted Escorty. Um, Matt has the high-end pipes. Yeah, I know, uh, because my grandfather really had, had, uh, really refined taste. There's the logo there. The A. And, um, it's kind of this, this blasted briar. It looks weird. It's, like, all dribbly. Do you know what they call that? Anymore? Um, this one, I, I know that, um... What is it? Caminetto does one called a roulette finish, or maybe that's Ser Jacopo, I don't know. And uh, Radice is known for its underwood finish and the kind of same thing. Mm. And uh, who knows how they do that? It's it really impressive looks considering, like volcanic considering rock how hard Briar is to carve it into anything that looks other yeah. than Briar. It's pretty damn it's, impressive. This is great, and this I use, of course, for the heavier blends because it's a nice heavy pipe. Uh, if I'm smoking uh, Black Irish uh, <laughs> Twist or something like that, I usually I throw it in this thing. And it's pretty good. Um, gonna run out of storage space. I know, I'm gonna run out of storage space. Um, here's one of two Caminettos I have. Here's the business class. I really like the, the bit on this because uh, it kind of just hangs. Um, the rustication is amazing. I, mean, uh, I would say it's the best rustication of all the pipes I had. I have, if it wasn't for this other Caminetto that I have, uh, that I just think it's beautiful. And these two are usually reserved for, for Englishes. I, as you can tell, I smoke a lot of Englishes. <laughs> it's probably my favorite. How um, can you go without a lot of Kia? I just don't so, understand. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Samuel Galois, uh, common Commonwealth blend, are gr is great in these pipes. Uh, Dunhill, uh, any Dunhill mixture is pretty good. Um, Here's my Salvatella. No. Oh, no. Uh, Savinelli. Savinelli. What, I, what am I saying? It's heavily oxidized on the on the stem. I really got to get that out. I was told toothpaste will help. Oh, uh, I should try anything soon because I, I have a feeling it's only going to get worse. Uh, I like to dump uh, the cigar blends in like mm. in this one. So, uh, stuff like uh, Key Largo, uh, GLP's is Key Largo. Also, Banker's uh, blend by uh, Fox. Fox, yeah. yeah. By Fox. So this is kind of my cigar blend pipe. Love it for that reason. Usually it is accompanied by a pint of strong booze. Not a pint. What am I talking about? Uh, you know, a little snifter or something. The Doctor. Oh, good Lord. This was like my first pipe. Uh, Dr. Grabow, purchased at a Rite Aid, I believe, <laughs> uh, which is a pharmacy here in the U.S. It's got the trademark spade on the... On the uh, bit, it's made to look like a Peterson system pipe, but the, it very much isn't. The bit comes out with some force. You can clean it. You could even put a filter in it. Never gonna do it. <laughs> Not ever. Because I like to actually receive the flavor of the pipe. It's got the of the blend I'm smoking. It's got this really tiny hole. So if you smoke an aromatic out of it, you're gonna be in trouble. You, so I call this pipe. Mr. Bitey, when you, uh, <laughs> when you, it bites, uh, when you, uh, smoke an aromatic. Concentrates that heat, so which really is really gets convenient. It right on the tip of your tongue, mm -hmm. you won't taste anything for days. You'll think you'll, you were eating boiling hot pizza or something. Um, uh, this is a special pipe. My mom, uh, dealt in antiques. She claims that this was owned by some guy in the Navy. He was a bit of a biter. Hopefully it wasn't, uh, was it MacArthur? Got it in an estate sale. I hope so. I think that would um, be awesome. 
I smoke my special blends out of this, you know, over the counters. Uh, every now and again, I'm in the mood for something a little less refined, or I just want to try something over the counter that uh, is probably an aromatic and is gonna ghost like mad. So I smoked the Bourbon Street uh, that we that I found at the back. Mm -hmm. so I smoked mm -hmm. out of this. I'll smoke sale out of this. <laughs> I like, yeah, anything you can grab at a drugstore. It's my, uh, you know, my drugstore special. And some of those blends are good. So sometimes I'm, I want to change it up. Uh, smoke that Cellini, which is actually my favorite aromatic, is an over-the-counter and an Italian blend that tastes like a chocolate and orange. It's fantastic. And my last pipe, I will never smoke. Oh, uh, because right. I told myself that my grandfather used to smoke this blend. Not available anymore. My grandmother swears it was called Cuboid, and even said, "Oh yeah, it had this cream-colored tan or something." It said Cuboid. It's a shame because this is a nice uh, Verona Tradizione, the tinderbox. It says that's kind of that's kind of tulip-shaped pipe. Yeah, that's nice. it's got this wonderful-looking bit. I'm never gonna smoke it because just so heavily smell, ghosted with that smell. That smell I associate very strongly with my grandfather, and every time I, I smell, it takes me back. It takes me back. So mm -hmm. um, this is the kind of pipe you just you keep in your collection, and it's it's very special. And uh, I don't see myself smoking tobacco out of it. <laughs> kind of same, so. Anyway. so anyway, uh, thanks Matt for sharing. Sorry for the length of this video. We were just topped 11 minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but but thanks for watching, uh, and uh, we'll catch.